What is going on today everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fix It Garage. Today we're leaving my shop and we're heading over to my buddy Bob's house where we've got a special project to do on a Chevy Colorado ZR2. Today we're going to be installing a new front lower bumper section with a Badlands winch and some fog lights. Nothing too crazy complicated, but it is going to make the truck look a lot better and it's gonna make it more usable for the owner. Before we head over and get started, I wanna remind you guys that if these are the kind of videos you like to see, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss any future videos. And always reach out to me in the comments section. I love reading the comments after every video and see what you guys have to say. But now let's head over to Bob's house and we can start disassembling this Colorado ZR2. After removing what seemed like an infinite number of T15 Torx bits, we were finally able to remove the front bumper. There were some hidden 10 millimeter bolts that were in the gap below the below in that lower grill section, but there was also like 15 million T15 Torx bolts on this bumper, as well as some hidden seven millimeters that were on the inside of the bumper between the bumper and the fender. It was a massive pain to get this thing off just because of the sheer amount of hardware used to install it. GM was definitely not messing around when they made this bumper. They wanted it to never, ever, ever fall off. I want to interrupt today's video real quick to remind everybody that at least once a week I am streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Be sure to go hit up my Twitch channel at the link down below. Give it a follow so you guys don't miss any streams that I have. We play video games, we hang out, we have a good time, and it's all just good vibes. So be sure to come in and check out those live streams. Now let's get right back to the video. With all of the brackets removed off of the front end of the vehicle, it was time to cut the bumper. And who better to cut it than the owner? So if for some reason they made a mistake, it was on them and not us. Cutting it off though, pretty straightforward. There's a line that you can clearly see on the front bumper that you just need to follow. And if you follow that line and cut it out, you'll remove the correct piece, leaving you room to install the new all steel, very heavy bumper. We went ahead and put the fair lead on and our winch, and then we could start installing this bumper onto the truck. Now it was time to install the bumper onto the truck, and I want to apologize in advance. 
I'm a mechanic first and a YouTuber second, and I pick the world's worst possible camera angle. So instead of seeing a great video of us installing the bumper, you just saw some butts. And that is really unfortunate. Um, the plan was to show you how it gets installed and like picking it up and raising it on, but instead I just caught all of Bob's butt. That is my fault. Once again, like I said, I'm a YouTuber first, mechanic second. Um, it is advised though, when you do a bumper install like this with a heavy steel bumper, whether it's a partial bumper or a full one, have some assistance help you. That way you can have some people hold the bumper while you install the bolts and you don't have to worry about, you know, dropping this heavy steel bumper on your foot or on your leg or, or hurting yourself with it or throwing out your back trying to pick it up. Always have an assistant when you're doing this. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Put the bumper on, install the bolts. Bumper was done, and we just needed to wire up the winch, and then that section of the vehicle would be good to go. All right, so here we are installing these little metal brackets to install the fog lights. In the directions for the bumper, this plastic trim piece, they actually tell you to just remove it and throw it away. Well, we had a fog light bracket that went in there, so we cut and modified that grill piece to fit back in the vehicle with the winch installed. And with that, we were able to mount up some brackets on it that allow us to mount four fog lights in the bumper. And I gotta say, those fog lights in there look sick. This is something that's super cool, and it's actually really not that hard. It was three Allen bolts per bracket. I just had to widen the holes that were already there. Like, they were designed to fit in holes that already existed in the grill. So we went ahead and got those brackets installed, and then we could start fitting up the fog lights.
All right, go ahead, one at a time. Now the next one. And now all of them. Yeah. All right, go ahead and turn them off. And then uh, hit the, hold the boat on the winch for three seconds and I'm gonna switch it out and winch it back in. Out. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Ha. There we go, out. And back in. All right, so as you guys saw there at the end, I had to duck out and I left the truck in Bob's capable hands to go ahead and finish for the owner. They went ahead and they got everything wired up and working. The winch and the lights both worked great on completion. As you guys saw in the video, everything is working and looking really good. Overall, not a terribly hard install to do, not even super time consuming. It's just being careful, measuring twice, cutting once, and having friends there to help you so you're not trying to he-man that heavy bumper on with a winch all by yourself. That can get a little sketchy. Um, overall though, the install was pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. The owner is very happy with it and it looks sick on the truck. So now he can go out and he can enjoy the truck more than he already does, especially since he's heading further down south where he's gonna need those lights and maybe even need the winch someday. So he's gonna be able to enjoy that truck for a long time to come. But that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. I wanna thank all of you for watching. As always, if you like what you saw, smash the like button, leave some comments down below. I am down in there reading them all the time. And subscribe so you don't miss any future Fix It Garage videos. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up here very shortly. And I am very excited to share all of it with you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.